Uh, Daniel, how are you, first of all? I'm good, man. I'm good. Just nearly fight time now. I'm feeling well. I'm feeling rested. feeling good. Um, is it right? Am I right in saying that given that it's Tottenham Hotspur, a stadium fight, even though you won the WBA world title in a uh, regular world title in Miami, this is probably the biggest stage you'll have fought on? Of course, yeah, definitely. It's the biggest stage and it's going to be amazing. Electric atmosphere in there. So it's just about stepping up to the plate and rising to the occasion again. It's going do to be I, a new experience. Yeah, do you go to football? Have you been to big football games? No, no, I haven't. Never ever? But, no, no. Boxing has been my life, hasn't it? So we have been just sucked into it, really. So you've never felt the atmosphere of a big stadium before? Walking out I've been, the first I've, time? I've been to some big fights before. I've been to George Gross, some of George's fights, the Gale, and I've seen really lively atmosphere so i'm i'm kind of got an idea of it do you think it'll make you nervous or is it are you, are you going to just kind of draw on it and enjoy it no nah, no nah, no nerves for me it's just going to be what i'll have the game plan set in my head and you know all the hard week of training i've not been i've gone over nerves and all of that by now i'm ready to fight i'm um, on kevin Lareda, um He's no spring chicken. He's 30, knows his way around the ring. He's fought a few similar opponents to you. This is a big yeah. moment for him in lots of ways. He's a southpaw. He's 30. He's quite experienced. Um, yeah. Is it? Do you have to make this fight about you rather than cons being concerned about him? And what do you know about him? Yeah, definitely. I've got the... But not over, overlooking anyone. Um, it's a world title fight, so everyone trains harder when they fight for a world title. So... I'm expecting, you know, whatever he's got to bring, you know, he, him to be twice as good as he's ever been. But I'll be prepared all the all, all the time for that. And um, I'm looking to, you know, you know, get into the big league now and make my make my way into the main stage. You know, you know, I'm a serious fighter and I want to prove that. Have you? drawn on anything from Tyson Fury, um, how he's built his career, or is he just a rival for you, even though you're from the same Queensbury promotions? No, no, listen, you've got to give the man his full credit and um, respect. And, you know, he's done amazing things in this game and shown that he's a very serious fighter. And, you know, um, I think, what, well, but right about now, I feel like I'm ready to step up to that level and, you know, put me in there with these guys and then, you know, I'm hungry and I want it. So let's see if they want it too. How many times a week or a month do you think about the rematch with Joe Joyce? Oh, it's, I don't can't pay too much mind to it. It's, um, I'd love to fight him again for a world title or defending the world titles or something like that. But I don't, don't go, doesn't, I don't lose sleep over it. It's just, uh, it's just experience for me, wasn't it? It's sort of a bit of letdown of experience, know-how, and some of the instructions and whatever, whatever else will happen around that. But that's in the past now. Do, and do, you seem to be talking about it like you really learned from it. Yeah. No, I have. I've changed everything. My training and um, and uh, just the way I'm thinking, and you know, I'm maturing as a fighter. And, like I said, I want to be a man of the future, so I've got to step out of that that shadow and, you know, take on all comers and, you know, put where my heart on my sleeve and go for it. Fighters are very driven very often when people critique them. You know, when people accused you of being a quitter in that fight and all those kind of yeah. things. Did you, did that hurt you at all? Or did, did you harness those things and say, no, no, hang on, I'm actually going to prove you wrong about this? Yeah, definitely. Those same people that was calling me a quitter, you know, I want to make them, I want to show them, you know, how much of a quitter I am. And, yeah. you know, if I get the chance to meet any of them in the ring, make them quit. So it's just, um, yeah, I want to, uh, I want to just clear this, wipe the slate clean and, you know, show that that was my need to do my dues and my experience, my first part of my career, really. I haven't really done anything, in my opinion. It's just a start. Yeah, absolutely brilliant to say that. I completely agree with you. This really is the very start uh, yeah. of that now. Um, when you look at the roadmap ahead, 
what do you need to do? Do you just need to keep winning and keeping your ranking there for when all these, you know, at the moment there's all talk about who will Alexander Usyk face next? Who will Tyson Fury face next after Derek Chisora? Will that yeah. undisputed fight take place? Will the belts split everywhere? Um, you know, presumably where you are, if the if the belts do split, you you'd fight for the full WBA title. Yeah. Well, I want to get in the mix, and I think this belt what I've got is going to put me right at the front of the queue to you know fight for the real deal, to fight for the main the main belt. And um, that's all I'm, I, I know it's a proper belt. It's, it means a lot and I've got to defend it and, you know, you know, take care, take good care of it and make sure that it takes me all the way. If you were to name five fighters right now who you think you'll meet in your career and who you really would like to meet in your career, who would they be? I'd say Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Uzik, um, uh, Wilder, all of them. You know, all of them, really. You know, well, that, Joe uh, Joyce wasn't in that list. Exactly, Joe Joyce. What's that? Five now. <laughs> no, that's five. That's a pretty handy yeah. five, isn't it? That's a pretty handy yeah. five. That's right? a big. That's the. That's the names that are out there, and that's at the top of the division. So, if I want to be the best and say I'm a world champion, I've got to beat one of them, all of them. You know. Do you still think they'll be around? Do you think some of them may not be around in two or three years' time or in two years' time when you get to the point of, of meeting them? Or do you just do you want to target them before they go? Um, who can say really? I wanna I wanna target them before they go, really. You know, even if you know, whatever that means, getting them in the road or what, I wanna get them in that ring and just, you know. And prove myself that I'm the best, and you know I've I've learned from my mistakes in my past, and and all of that, and I'm you know I'm a new I'm a new fighter today, I'm a new man. One of the criticisms you talk about change and being a new fighter. One of the criticisms that was levelled at Anthony Joshua is that he lost his way a little bit. We knew him as a destroyer and a fighter up until a few fights ago, maybe till the Andy Ruiz fight. And people have accused him of being gun shy or maybe yeah. every fight was so difficult because of so much money on the line, so much pressure. That's going to come to you as well. I'm sure it is there in, in some ways. Do you have to be careful about going too far away from what you really are as a fighter? And how really. do you see yourself as a fighter? Not really, because I'm a young, hungry fighter and I'm... You know, I'm I'm got a lot of power and a lot of energy to give to this sport, and you know, to you know, just to to support and and you know, achieve everything that my dad set out for me to achieve and everything. I've got a lot of hunger and desire, so I've still got that you know fire in me, and I want to just explode onto the scene, really. You know, if all you... these guys. Yeah. Yes. No, go on. No, please finish. No, just, you know, all these guys that are there, you know, you know, Derek Tazoras, D Dylan Whites, you know, Dylan didn't want no smoke. And that's, you know, it's, you know, I'm ready to prove that I'm the best and I've got, you know, real fight and hunger inside of me. So Did Dylan you know, turn you down then? You know, I don't know what's, what's happening with that. Maybe we'll meet along further along the, along the line. Um, slightly away from all of this, um, and I would like you to predict what you would like to do against Lareda. Do you want to show some of your boxing skills? Do you want another statement, spectacular knockout to delight the 60, that 60,000 crowd that will be there? Um, yeah. what, what, what's, what's, what makes you satisfied at the end of a fight? Do you need that guy finished? For sure. The knockout is, is the main ultimate part of boxing. That's the, what everyone comes to see, especially in heavyweight boxing. So if I go out there and, you know, perform properly and box like I know I be, know I can and do everything that's saved up inside of me, lay it all out and just lay it all out and that'll be enough. Tell me about working with your coach because he's from a great, formidable boxing family. What do you learn from him? What, what, what's, it seems to be a great partnership. He speaks so highly of you. Yeah, no, he's got big plans for me and, you know, I've got, you know, we're both driven and he's very hungry, he's young and, um, you know, he's a good team, Barry as well, he's there all the time, 
today I was in the gym and I was doing my sparring and I was doing some good things in there. Barry's in there. He's complimenting me, he's watching and just giving advice to me all the time. So I, I can't really go wrong there. This is this is the, I'd say they're the top in England, you know. And do, you have a little, in the world. do you have a little spa with Lawrence Acoli ever or not? Um, he's not around these days, to be honest. But yeah. I used to spar him a lot. Do you bash him up a little bit and t let him know who's the boss or not? <laughs> Always show him who's the governor, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to come up to heavyweight eventually as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's another good challenge for me. And that's what, oh, man, I'm, uh, you know, I just want to get this guy out of the way and next weekend and then, you know, it's open season, really. A couple of final little questions before I have to say goodbye. Um, what's the best advice you've been given so far in your career? Best advice? Uh, uh, don't forget to duck, innit? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. Yeah, exactly. Don't forget to duck. Duck and dive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but, and fight uh, again. <laughs> have, you got, have you got a piece of wisdom that you can give me that you've been given? Oh, well, uh, oh, man. There's, I've had so many, you know, good words and, you know, my dad really just keeps it real with me. You know, when when everything's getting rough and I'm 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 a bit overawed by everything, my dad he's the one with the words of wisdom, and you know whatever he tells me, I, I I hear it and I listen. And um, you know, for me, I'm just a machine. You know, I, I'm a I'm a destroyer in the ring, and I'm a skilled surgeon as well. I'm a boxer, and I've got a lot of skills and a lot of talents that I need to show and give to the sport of boxing. What is my career really so let's let's get it moving i've been out of the ring as well yeah yeah, yeah. when you while. if you hadn't been a boxer what would you have done um not boxing uh i suppose there's a few uh things we would have done i'd i'd, I'd see myself you know doing something with my dad and work wise we used, my dad was to used to do a lot of different businesses and stuff. So I'd probably be working with him or who knows what I'd be doing then. Let's not dwell on that. But 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 basically, you can't imagine not boxing. No, not really. It's, for me, it's my whole life. It's my career. And it's it's something in my heart now. It's, it's really buried deep inside me. So it, we take, you know, it's got to come all out. I've got to bring it all out. Brilliant. Can't wait to see you in the ring next week against Kevin Lareda. Great to see you, Daniel. Thank you very much for your time. Good stuff. Thank you.